Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport and there's been another twist in the tale that is the Welsh Rugby Players Association uh, which represents the Welsh players and the official rugby board of the Welsh Rugby Union um, which is sort of dominating uh, headlines this week but given the fact that uh, on Tuesday for example there were talks that the Welsh players were willing to go on strike and potentially boycott over the lack of certainty um, or lack of guarantees uh, in the futures, because there was currently a hold on all recruitment across the four Welsh regions by the, um, the, the, the Wales Rugby Union because of sort of, you know, their lack there of being a, a financial agreement um, being put in place, signed and sealed with regards to what the funding will be for the four Welsh unions. And uh, this was sort of popping up on Tuesdays. There were players taking Twitter basically saying that, you know, they, they're out of contract in a couple of months. There's been no sort of talk about what's going to happen. There's no guarantee that they will get new contracts or what the contracts are going to be. And uh, there's been actually nothing signed to say that, you know, this is what's going to actually happen. And, uh, yeah, a lot of players coming out and just saying, you know, they're, they're playing week in, week out for Wales, and yet they don't know what's going to happen for them in a couple of months' time. It's a World Cup year. And they actually don't know if they're even going to have a contract uh, by the end of the year. And uh, then yesterday... The um, professional rugby uh, board of the Welsh Rugby Union uh, released a statement. And in that statement, they sort of tried to sort of quell all sort of the rumors and stuff like that by saying um, that, you know, there is an agreement, a, a six-year deal that is in the sort of final stages of, of being sort of signed. And that is going to be sort of the financial package that will be given to the, the unions. And he said that it's definitely enough for them to run. Um, however, they did admit that they are going to be... Uh, budgetary cutbacks, you know, within the contracts. And, um, you know, it, it, it said basically that there was little room to maneuver, but, um, and which is why that the, you know, the overall budgets are actually going to be reduced, which means that whilst they said that for next season, 24, 25, uh, current, you know, contracts will be on it because they've already been signed. Moving forward, those contracts are all going to have to be brought back into alignment. Um, but importantly, you know, I think it's, it very much sort of talked about the fact that it admitted that they hadn't, nothing had been signed, and they said that there were um, constant meetings with the players and stuff like that, and that their players were being, uh, you know, well informed about what was going on, and that you know they're in the final stage and, and this should be ratified shortly. Um, but also sort of basically said that you know there's no room for for maneuvering in terms of, of budgets because you know currently the four regions are operating uh, in an unsustainable manner, uh, and that's why the budgetary cutbacks are going to see a wage or, or sort of salary um, budget, the salary cap reduced. Um, and they said that basically it'll be the same as, you know, the likes of an island, uh, for example, but not the same as the premiership in top 14. And that's the reality. But this has gone down like a, a lead balloon uh, with the players. And uh, last night there was actually a stage walkout at a, at a sponsorship event happening where the Welsh players were there for the introductions, but then left before the food and before the opportunity to engage with sponsors. And that had been invited by the Welsh Rugby Union. And now today, the Welsh Rugby Players Association has actually released a very long statement um, talking about specifically addressing the statement yesterday. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the opening line kind of sets the tone where it says, the WRPA is extremely disappointed at the publishing of a statement by PRB and the way it portrays the players within Welsh and ongoing uh, rela uh, well, sorry, players relations with the PRB. Uh, they said that the union has been regularly updated by the chair of the PRB but has not at any point been involved in any form of negotiation around the funding model. Basically, they've been told what's going on and never sort of asked for any input. Um, and apparently, consultation um, around the status of the contracts only began in January, um, despite apparently being told it will happen in December. And um, basically, so if you look, it's a very long statement. I don't want to go into too much, but... You know, they, they talk about the fact that they were given uh, certain deadlines. They said the contract negotiations were going to commence in January. Um, once the signing of heads of terms was, was, was signed, stuff like that. Um, but that this has not happened yet. There's been no, nothing signed. Um, they said there's been a long delay in terms of any sort of information actually watering down to the Player Association. Um, and they said that uh, consultations around a proposed new salary structure only started a couple of weeks ago. Um, and apparently very much sort of being fast-tracked. Um, and yeah, I think it's, I suppose that's what, you know, one of the big sort of worries for the players is the fact that they weren't told everything and all of a sudden you've been told two weeks ago, oh, listen, by the way, we are going to be doing contracts, but we are cutting back on budgets, uh, considering all these players already had to take a 20% wage cut as a result of, of sort of the COVID-19 discussions. Um, they said that on the 15th of the second, so that was yesterday, uh, national squad players had a discussion with Nigel Walker, who's the interim CEO between three and 4 PM, which has led to the PRB releasing a four-minute statement. Uh, they did release a statement whilst the players were at training. 
and the players did not know the statement was coming out. And uh, they said that they're currently feeling that they are the ones being uh, leveraged. Um, they said that they, they specifically addressed the part in, in, in the PRB statement, which said that clubs have been paying salaries that their business cannot afford and um, saying players and agents have negotiated contracts within the parameters directed by the PRB and its previous inclinations. Once again, the players are expected to clean up someone else's mess, uh, which is an interesting point. You know, they're saying that, you know, what well, the contracts that they sort of negotiated were all within the parameters. So to imply that that's the reason why, you know, there's no money, it's not their fault in theory. And, and I suppose it isn't. Um, it said in the meeting with Nigel Walker, the players haven't asked for anything unreasonable nor an increase to the funding model. Um, the Welsh Rugby Players Association and its wider membership appreciate the drive, commitment, and unity for national squad players to represent all professional players across Wales. Uh, we understand the, uh, the negotiations are complex, but this particular issue has been ongoing for a prolonged period of time with deadlines set and missed and promises made and broken. A well referenced article was published on Tuesday highlighting the very real situation that the players are facing. As a players' union, we raised concerns publicly back in December. So they're saying this is not a new thing. They have been raising concerns. They have been talking about it. They have been asking for answers for a while. Um, what is deeply concerning is that until the long-form agreement is signed and active, no players' futures are guaranteed. This is having a profound effect on players, especially those out of contract, and is placing unacceptable strain on mental health and overall well-being. Um, strike action is something we wish to avoid as a players' union, and our members want to be taken to the field, as they always have. But clearly, the anxiety caused by the situation is now affecting the lives and professions of players. Players have had enough. This is not a game of championship manager. Uh, we urge all um, to prioritize fair agreement, urge to acknowledge the position and well-being of the game's main assets, which are its players. A satisfactory resolution must be found swiftly so the parties can move forward. Um, and I think, it, it again, it goes down to the fact that we are sitting here mid-February and, and, and they're saying that nothing has been sign that there is no there's a lot of talk and but there's actually very little action um an interesting sort of the sponsor so warren gatlin was was asked would he support a player strike and he said he wouldn't uh he said um i completely support the stance that they're taking in terms of wanting uh to get a revolution of the issues that they have but i think there's a lot more involved a lot of things at stake in terms of ensuring that the fixture takes place like i've said i'm supportive of the players and the things that they're trying to do and my role is just to repair the team for next week. So basically, Warren Gatlin saying if they were to strike, he's not going to support that. Uh, but then interesting, Alan Wynne Jones was then sort of asked about the as well. And he said, it's disappointing that players are caught in the middle again. It's disappointing that we're 20 years into regional rugby and the same things are coming around again. And he would know he's been there. Uh, players are coming to a point where they have no option. This was supposed to be sorted a long time ago. And this is not somebody who's been around the block. Eh? He's, he's been through it all, really, as Alan Wynne Jones. So if he's starting to see things wrong and he's saying that we've been here before, they've had these problems before, and, you know, we shouldn't be here, you've got to start listening to that, don't you? And again, I think the biggest issue is the players are saying it's all talk. It is all talk and there's no action. And to be honest, I feel like it kind of has been the, the sort of the theme with the Welsh Rugby Union the last couple of years. So our players have had enough. And I think this is all going to boil over pretty quickly, uh, pretty soon as well. So very interesting to sort of see. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.